Gentlemen's Beer Cast, new special episode. Check it out. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. We're going to Due South in Boynton Beach, Florida. It's a local brewery. Yep. Fantastic brews on tap. We're just going to show you around today. Come inside. Come with me. Chilling here at Do South. Today we're drinking the honey vanilla wheat. Light body, very sweet flavor. Thirst quencher, if anything. That's what I'm actually looking for yeah. right now. Yeah. I feel like I haven't had water in like a couple hours. <laughs> so I need like a light beer. Beer is mainly water. <laughs> it's hydrating and dehydrating all at the same time. Cheers, my fellow gentlemen and gentle ladies. really good. Be it that this is a honey vanilla wheat beer, you actually do taste a lot of vanilla, which I didn't think was going to come through at all. It says local. It doesn't say anything about being organic. I don't know why I have the I literally took two sips of beer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the best way to see what happens is? With a beer. With a beer in hand. And a gentleman. A Ooh. fellow gent. Fellow gent. Yes. You're getting such a diverse type of profile of beers in a lot of different breweries now because people's tastes have shifted away from yes. Miller Lite and Buzz. You find out the ones that you like. Hey, I like a porter more than I like a lager. Or right. Pilsners are kind of my thing because they're lighter in body. You know, you start realizing it. And you start playing with the flavors. And I think that's the best part about craft beer because you find a different flavor with every brew. They have their own little nuance on the way they do things. Their own little taste. You're not really going to find the same beer in a brewery. And I think that's like part of the point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you got to expose and explore every option that you possibly have, especially at a brewery. Because do so. They have. I mean, right now I'm looking at at least 20 different, 20 to 25 different beers they have. He's counting. So I'll let you know as soon as he's done. Twenty different beers, like I said, twenty different beers, and a couple different specialties that they 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 keg out every time. Well, what's cool here is that you can obviously tell that we're in a warehouse. So you Most know. breweries will have their tap room, you know, either attached yeah. or right next to. Do South is actually inside the brewery. One thing that Do South actually always does is they have a food truck come along. They actually have an entrance over to the side here. I'll show you guys a little later. Order some food, come back here, order a beer, and enjoy yourself. It's nice. They've got a couple picnic tables. You know, they got, uh, what's uh, the bag toss thing? What's it called? Sack toss. Shuttle? No. No, it's just That's badminton. <laughs> Did you say shuttlecock? That's it. All right. Not even being Shuffle weird. Board? No. Shuttlecock. Isn't that the actual thing they use in badminton with like the weird net behind the ball. Is that what it's called? I think. I don't know. Um, it's not cricket. It's not cricket. It's the game where there's a hole and the, you know, cornhole. The cornhole. There it is. Cornhole. They have games like cornhole and things like it's that. It's right there. I can see. Yeah, a little like uh, giant Jenga game that you can play. Yeah. So a brewery's always got fun stuff for you to do. This honey wheat beer though, their honey vanilla wheat, man. I it like is it. good. It's yeah. very it is good. It's very quenching, quenchable. Yeah. And it's crushable. Crushable. At the Gentleman's Beer Cast, you know we need, we like to do the five pint ratings. Yeah. So we're gonna give this a fucking rating. Okay, for me, no lie right off the bat, I'm probably gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four. I really I would I would order this beer again and again and again. Yeah, yeah. this is one I'd of those beers. Yeah, like, really because easy it's so easy to drink. And I, like I've said before, I'm a big malt guy. It's got a nice sweet malty flavor to it that it it, it, it sings to me almost. Um, but it's not overbearing. It's not too sweet. The honey gives it a nice little accent. Right. And the vanilla just kind of carries it all the way through. I, I agree on I go with four out of five on this one as well. Yeah. And it's just because it's it's super good. It's quenching my thirst, which is exactly what I needed right now. It's very drinkable. It's it's light. Yeah. And it, you know, I, I like my dark beers, I like my light beers, but I like them to taste really good. So this is just a better option than those macro beers. And if I'm coming here, I'm gonna order a bunch of them. Absolutely. And I'm gonna order a bunch of them. That was awesome. <laughs> Beer is impartial. Okay? Beer doesn't care. Beer is tasty. Beer is meant to be drank.